That's right, it's finally time for that thing we've been waiting forever for. Sometimes it feels like it is time to open tops. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Argos Anonymous. I am Argos. If you have somehow stumbled across this channel from somewhere out there in the interweb and you're not already a subscriber, consider joining us. We are everything MetaZoo. Up-to-date, accurate news and information, product reviews, product releases, market analysis, NFTs, plush puppies, anything they do, we will cover it and then, uh, you know, just have some fun while we're doing it. Kick some things around, do some swashbuckling, explosions, you name it, man. So if that sounds like something you would like, then subscribe. And that's what you'll get. The tops drop was quite a while ago, and we already did a video talking about what are the chase cards, these serial number creator cards, and these serial number first sightings cards, and the whole breakdown of the set. So I will put a link in the description of this video that will take you to that anatomy of the tops product video if you would like to get into that. What we're gonna do today is open two boxes of tops for my patron, Robert. Roberto, thank you so much for giving us this opportunity to share your cards with the fine people of MetaZoo for their entertainment what should we say before we get into it what do we know we all we really know is that there is one hollow per pack there's one pack per box and there's normally 30 cards per pack right per box but if you get one of the chase cards there's apparently 31 cards it's just like an extra card shoved in there so that's what we're looking for we're looking for a box that has like a bonus card and that's that's how we know that we've just we just hit it big so let's just let's just dive into it. All right, Roberto would like to open two boxes of Mentazoo tops. So that's what we're gonna do, and uh, hopefully, what are we what are we hoping for in these things? Well, what do we know? There's those, there's the creator cards. We'll do that one first. There's the creator cards that um, that have Michael Waddell or Steve Aoki, and those are serial numbered cards that are out of I think either two hundred ninety nine or three hundred. Those are the chase cards, right? And then there are first sighting cards of various cryptids in here that are also gonna be like a holographic card that are out of uh, 99, I think. That's what it is. And those are our big money chase cards. And then of course you've got things like a, a hollow Mothman or a hollow Piazza Bird is probably the, that stuff too. The rest of it though, we're just gonna kind of enjoy this experience because this is our first tops opening on the channel. We'll probably do a few more, I suppose, uh, you know, if we want to, if people like them, if they're fun as we pursue these, that's one of the creator cards there. Let's see, and then what, they just have the cryptids. They don't have the Steve Aoki one on here. Cool, so let's check it out. So so this was 50 bucks from Tops about six million years ago, and we've just been kind of waiting for them. And it's it's the Series Zero drop, and funny little bit of history about these, uh, these Tops boxes. So like, <laughs> originally, this was like the, this was the prototype sale for Tops and MetaZoo. They were just gonna test it out. So they were just gonna do like 3,000 of them and that's it. And then they were they were looking at, you know, will it sell? They were gonna set a 14 day window and MetaZoo gets a hold of Tops and they're like, oh, I think you got you gotta sell, you gotta increase the number, you gotta bump it up. And they're like, well, we just wanna take it easy because we've never sold MetaZoo before. And MetaZoo's like, trust me. <laughs> so, they, so they increased it to 50,000 boxes of Tops. And it sold out in less than an hour. Uh, and the reason it took that long was because it crashed the Tops website. <laughs> and so, so like it took them a while to get back up. It really was probably like 15, 20 minutes of sales and that's it. But we managed to get some uh, because a friend of mine found like a back door <laughs> to the to order them. And so we like, we like sort of traveled along this dark, dark, shadowy interverse link. No, he just had like a link that actually worked. I guess. And then, um, so unfortunately we were able to get some and I'm just selling them off to some people who've been asking about them for a long time. Was oh, that torn? Oh, look at that. All right. Well, you know what, you know what else is going to tear? Sting will tear. What should we do first? This one has like a smoother shrink wrap with a tear. And this one has like a slightly looser shrink wrap or something like that. Hmm. That's interesting. Did I, did I like do that in my frenzy and not know, or does some of them, some of them kind of come out? All right. Well, whatever. Let's, let's just dive into it. Let's just dive into it. Oh, 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 gotta get the luck. Have you noticed how greedy I am today? I've got the luck coin, the luck dragon, and, and the money toad, the greed toad. We're not messing around today. We're gonna, we're gonna find us a, a Michael Waddell. We're gonna find us a Steve Aoki. So when you open this up, what do you have? It looks like you have one tinfoil pack inside. 
and then just some spacers to kind of fill it out. Is that it? So, hmm. So I've heard that the the special insert cards are a 31st card. Each each pack normally has 30 cards, but if you have one of the special cards, like one of the serial cards, it's a 31st card. So that's that's interesting. So we'll have to do a little bit of hashtag science on that to kind of figure it out. We'll just kind of take our time and enjoy this. Let's go through it. To enjoy this new MetaZoo artwork, <laughs> Agro Pelter, is he throwing a tree? He's like sharpening it like a pencil. He's gonna chuck it like a javelin. That's brutal. Brutal aggro pelter. Cool. And GG Bird. GG's, that's cold. This guy's crazy. This guy's really fun to play with in the actual card game. Because your opponent has to say GG's that's cold anytime he targets them. And if he doesn't, I forget if he takes damage or what. But the Charman, that's cool, man. Alright. Classic Minizu artwork coming in, raising questions. Raising more questions than it answers. Sometimes is the way it goes. Dingbell is another fun deck. Dingbell dings your opponent for using their phone. I like that one. Joint Snake with the Fire Flame background. We have a Mantis Man. So it looks like they have Rarity in the bottom left. So these are Bronze Rarity. So uh, what we're going to have like uh, a bunch of Bronzies. And then we're going to switch to Silver and then we'll switch to Gold. <laughs> Space Penguins are insane. Has anyone Googled why they have insanely long tongues? <laughs> or is that just... Is that a medicine thing or is that really... <laughs> like really a space penguin thing we got to figure this out gumbaru and the bunny man cool 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 now oh chibi moth man nice i like how they totally caterpillared him on this one look at him he's like what he's one two three four five six he's seven little pieces seven fuzzy little bits now what i just noticed uh, when i was opening this is the thickness is different uh, for one of the cards. See that? One of the cards is thicker. I'm assuming that's going to be the hollow. So that's kind of interesting. And I wonder if it's in the same place each time. We'll have to see. This one was what? It's almost like in the middle. It's even, it's like towards the front a little bit. So we're just doing our little, our little science experiment as we kind of cut through this. All right. Chibi Moth Man. White Thang. Alabama White Thang. Kentucky Hellhound is our hollow. Cool. So there's a so that's what a hollow looks like, huh? Okay. So we got a silver hollow, and it has kind of like a copper holographic border, and the border's hollow, and the card is not. So it's like a it's like a really thick, firm, it's firm. It's got buoyancy. This 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 is a card built to last. Let's go ahead and sleeve that, see if it even fits. In a standard sleeve. Got to be extremely careful with corners on these tops cards because um, if you want to grade it, they are going to just micromanage those corners. They're going to want perfectly, perfectly sharp corners. So you have to be just really careful with these things. If you plan on grading these foily boys, you must respect the corners. So let's move through. So we're still, so since we hit the hollow, we're still in the bronze. So giant salamander, okay. Lava Bear. All right. Snow Burrito. R reach Around. Rope Right. Rum to Fusel. This guy's, this guy's crazy. <laughs> what, a, what a bizarre little thing. I love that. Funeral Mountain Terror Shot. Looks like he just woke up on the wrong side of someday. Oh, Hugging Molly. She's crazy. Look at that. Okay. Uh, hide Behind. Menahune. Oh, so now we're in the... Oh, I, just, I skipped that. We're in the silver now. That's right. So Funeral Mountain Terror. So we got a bunch of bronzes. And then we got like one, two, three, four silvers, five silver, Hopkinsville Goblin. And now we're into the gold. Okay, so a ton of bronzes, five silvers. And now we're into the gold with Lizard Man. Okay, Lizard Man. And then an awesome. We got a frog man. Cool. Got the frog. And a tis All right. All right. Boom. Chupacabra. So we're gonna get okay. So five silvers, four bronze or four golds, the hollow, and then a ton of uh, bronzes, and then four lore cards. Is that are they all gonna be like that? Let's we'll we'll check the other box and see if that's the makeup. So the the lore cards are kind of fun. I've heard you always get like a uh, like a comic book art. You know, I've seen chapter one and chapter two. 
come out of these. And then you get these lore cards with a little bit of the story on the back, and they are numbered. So like this is a uh, this is lore card number five, the chapter one cover, and then it gives you a little like summary, and the artists stuff like that. So that's cool. And then what do we have? Young Power. So this is actually art from the from the first comic, I think. I think it was the first one. Might be the second one. I forget. Anyway, that's there's some great artwork in those uh, illustrated novels for Meta Zoo. So that's what, lore card number one. Cool. And then we have Quantum Power, not to be confused with Young Power, which is uh, lore card number 10, and Contracted. Oh, look at that. They're sharing a moment. That's cute. And that's lore card number seven. Okay, so let's just what? Let's just dive into the other, other tops box. Let's do some tops. And we'll see if we're going to get um, seven, uh, what? We're looking for a ton of bronzes, one hollow. There's our boy. And then, what, five silver, four gold, and a partridge in a pear tree, and a ring. Okay, so, so, there's our pack. Cool. Cool. And we're gonna kick it off with the frozen people. Okay, Roberto. So we've got we've got everything here. Hopefully we get close to a set for you, my man. I think we'll get all the commons. It seems like you get a lot of commons in these, a lot of bronzes, but not too many golds, which is interesting. Kind of fewer than I thought. The Roper right again. I hate little guy. Look at him. He's like a an anteater and and like a snake, a rattlesnake and an anteater and a kangaroo and some kind of vegetable had a baby, and you got a rope right. A snow burrito. Partic this one is a lot more bloodthirsty than the, the base set snow wasp. The base set snow wasp, it's like, rare. it's like a cute little thing. This one, like, is like a nightmare snow wasp. He's not nearly as cute. He's just crazy. <laughs> All right, killer clown. Man, that's good. That's nuts. Uh, Lake Worth Monster. Cool, like... Like lake, lake effect in the background. That's cool. Sliver cat blowing up trees with his like little flail tail, mace tail, and the bunny man, creepy eyed bunny man, the char man burning it down, and then sewer alligator. All right, pizza aoki. Oh, that's fun, pizza aoki. <laughs> I just noticed that. <laughs> Was that in the base set too? Was there an aoki thing in the base set, or is this new? <laughs> that's cool it's cool little easter egg old green eyes man that's some cool artwork look at that guy he's crazy jeez let me never come across this at night i gotta google this to find out where it's from just so i can never go there all right matt locks you know he's just chewing on a little bit of a that's probably a person it probably used to be a person mantis man and boo gg bird and ggs that's cold and Oh, dude, Robert, Robert, what is, so this is one of the first sightings, and it's a Quetzal, oh, dude, check it out, okay, so, so, uh, is, we were right, okay, so, 53 out of 99, <laughs> this is, <laughs> look at that, okay, so, interesting, so, the, the other hollow we found, uh, let's see if we can find it, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm crazy, here it is, the other hollow was just the border, like a standard hollow is just the border. But look, this is the card itself. And there's a little bit of gloss on the rest of it. But the hollow is actually over what the background behind the artwork. And it's like a rainbow hollow. Wow. So that's what a first sighting looks like. Interesting. That's cool, man. And they're numbered. And there's only 99 of them? Wow. Oh, and then you still get a hollow. Oh, so that's... Okay, so I, we heard that, right? We heard there was an extra card. Wow, so... Okay, so this is in theory, that's interesting. So this is in theory a 31 card. Oh, come on, I don't want to mess that corner up. A 31 card uh, pack for a first sighting pack, I guess. There we go. Okay, well, that's that's interesting. He's another thick boy. So he's the same, he's the same card stock as the hollows. The first sighting cards are thicker than the standard ones. Huh, so, okay. And they just kind of they just kind of tuck them in the middle there. All right, 
Next to Mr. Harlow. That's cool. And a Mantis Man. All right. Dude, Robert, congratulations. Congratulations, my friend and patron. That's cool. I thought we'd have to open like 20 of these to get to one of those. Now, what do we, what do we not know? How many, how many of the cryptids can be first sightings? We'll have to keep track. Like, is it all of them? Is it, oh, no, wait, they said, didn't they? They said that in the, in the makeup. Oh, you know what? I think I said. Let's, I'll put the link to, <laughs> I'm pretty sure a while ago I made a, I made a chase card video about tops, and I said exactly what you can get and how many there are. Uh, <laughs> so let's, I'll put the link to that video in the description so we can go and see exactly how many different first sightings cards there are, because that would be good to know. Because these are the, I think these are, so these are the rarest cards in the set, because they're out of 99. Wow, so interesting. That's cool. It's a Quetzal. I love this card. Huh. I wonder what these are going to sell for because on the one hand, there's only 99 of them. On the other hand, there's like a medley of versions. So, hmm. I don't know. That's going to be very interesting. Let's finish our tops pack. All right. We've got a joint snake. We've got a, oh, and a snow snake. We're just snaking it up over here. All right. Minnesota Iceman. Just kind of chilling. Look how, look how stoic he is. So Scandinavian. Nice little Scandinavian Iceman. Just kind of chilling out. He's friendly, but he's not your friend. Enfield Monster. Wow, that's crazy. Look at th that thing is nuts. They they that artwork's really different than the uh than the base set artwork. He's is he like a he's like a rose garden thing? Are those like he takes on the uh, is he like a little chameleon? Does he take on some characteristics of his environment? Chibi Ketsa, now we're into the uh, okay, so we're into the silvers. Oh, so we forgot to count. Okay. Because I'm I'm so sloppy. So that was interesting. We actually hit that time we hit our hollows. And we still had some bronzes left, so they just kind of shoved it in to the middle of the bronzes. And now we're in our silver. So the last pack had five of these. So we had one, two, Chibi Ketsa. All right. And then there's three, okay. And Funeral Mountain Terror Shots, four. And St. Lawrence Witches is five. Okay, so another, so five silvers. Cool. And now we're into the golds. So what are we expecting? Four golds, I guess, is what we're expecting. We got Fresno Nightcrawlers. Pew! Hey, we got a Sam Sinclair. Cool. Cool, man. Wow, he looks tougher now than he used to. He's like learning spells or something. That's interesting. Hmm. Sam, are you... Sam, are you becoming competent? Because at the beginning... Hey, and a Frogman. That's a good lineup. What can we get now? To, hey, and a... Wow, this is a Quetzal box. That's cool. We're going to have to compare that directly to the Hollow once we check out our lore cards. Okay, so we got Radio Silence which is lore card number eight. All right, let's move our luck dragon. We've already used his luck anyway. All right, and then we have uh, Midnight's Escape is lore card number nine. All right, cool. And this time we got no no comic book artwork. We just got, we got Young Power again. Oh, and the end of childhood. It's so ominous. Look at his little bunny man poster holding an ax. There's nothing weird about that. Yeah, that's good. It's good life. And that's lore card number two and number one. Okay, cool. I forget if there's 10 or 12 lore cards, but I said that in that video, the whole like uh, set breakdown video. So so let's just check out this um, this first sighting Ketzel versus the standard Ketzel. So I guess you'll probably have what? You'll have a standard card, standard gold, and then you'll have a hollow gold with like a hollow border, I guess. And then you'll have a first sighting of some of them. And those are the ones that are out of 99. So we'll have to crush the odds if there's 50,000 boxes and there's, what, almost 600 creator cards and there's, I don't know how many first sighting cards because I forget how many there are. I don't know if there could be 1,000, 2,000, whatever. We'll just see how many boxes come with these because I've seen some other people pulling, uh, posting photos of these on, like, social media but we'll have to figure it out. That's all I've got. Thank you, MetaFam, for stopping by. I do always appreciate this opportunity to entertain the fine people of MetaZoo. Thank you again, Robert, for allowing us to share your cards with people. This is an awesome first sighting Quetzalcoatlus. I'm so excited for you, dude. This is really, this is a nice, that's a nice looking hollow. It's like thick too. You a thick boy. That's, that's cool, man. I can't wait to see what the first sighting Mothman, it's just going to shine. It's going to shine so bright. It's going to warm my heart. So if you're still here, you're not yet a sub, just click it, man. Just join us and have a fantastic weekend. Enjoy your Friday. Enjoy your pin club. Enjoy your tops. Enjoy your coin NFTs. Enjoy fishing or hanging out with the family or eating popcorn, whatever you're doing. You know, you, you never know how many more times you'll be able to do it. We only live one time as far as we know. So you might as well have some fun. 
fun. Have a fantastic weekend. This is Argos, signing off.